broken. It cannot be fixed. It has to be torn down and rebuilt from the bottom up. No Yeshua, absolutely no salvation that we're looking for is going to come forth from this system. It can't tolerate somebody who is not fitting in somewhere into the accepted political conformity that they're looking for, that their rules are, that their, that their decrees are. So they're not going to accept somebody from the outside as an outsider saying, we need to do things radically different and see if the people will vote for that, which more and more they were willing to vote for that. So they banned it and then they killed it, is what they did with, with Remer and Rabbi Yami. One second, one more second. And as a result, the, um, as a result, the, the political system is so bad, anybody, you, Rabbi Yami said, if you're going to look at how, well, so what, so, okay, so now we're not going to vote for somebody. He said, well, every time Sharon came up, oh, the great savior, and BB, yeah, the great savior, and every time we're disappointed, when are we going to stop thinking that the next guy down the pipe, down the pike is going to be our savior? Each time we fall for it. We're fools. We, we make the same mistake. We fall for the same thing every time. They say and they speak great stuff, what they're going to do, and they get in there and they do the opposite because they're not allowed by the powers that be, they're not allowed to do anything, or they don't want to do anything, they're traitors. So how are we going to do this? Rabbi Yami says, and he says very succinctly, when we stop investing in the system, we stop lending credence to it that we're looking, expectation, it's going to come, we're going to be saved, it's going to be good. When we stop investing in it, I don't know the answer, he says, but I know that's not the answer. And when enough people drop out of that system, then Hashem will give us the guidance we need. It'll appear of its own. Mashiach will come, or we'll find a path that we can collectively do for ourselves. It was similar to what Mayor was trying to do with his referendum initiative, to get to the power in order to correct this death uh, threat of the survival of Israel, to, to, to rid, rid this threat from Klai Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael. So he was trying with everything, and they were both trying with everything they had. So we need, the point is, and this is what Rabbi Yamin and Rabbi Meir stood for, we need a revolution in our thinking first before we'll be able to change anything. That's the first thing. We need to rid ourselves of the gullus mentality and purge it from our systems forever, from our hearts, from our souls. And to do this, to do this, it has to be a it has to be a sea change. People have to just wake up is really the is the if we continue the way we're going, that's what Ramera and Rabbi, I don't know if Israel survives. Twenty years, thirty years. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They seem to be strong. All the econ economy a little bit and the technology and the country seems to be thriving. But when people can walk around and be slaughtered in their homes or on the streets at, in a split second, we don't, we're, we're, something's wrong. And, and that's not leading anywhere good. And th that's the point. The, the point is, Remer and Rabbi Yamin laid down their lives yeah. for the sake of Am Yisrael. And to return their great sacrifice, that they didn't die in vain, is that we have to continue the fight. It takes money, it takes support, it takes participation. We have to build, like you said, we have to build a movement. These are things that I think that are necessary in order to, to try and do something to present to, the, to awaken the Jewish people. That It's not just going to be that we sit back and Hashem is going to send Mashiach. He is going to send Mashiach. Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yamin both said, and we can talk about it another time in another class, there's two ways Mashiach can come. He will come, but, and Hashem will bring the final redemption. But it can come in a bad way, suffering, all like we've been going since 48. It's some highs, but mostly lows, where like we've been taking it on the chin. Or it can come in with salvations, with miracles of redemption. Or it can come with miracles of, of, of exile, and at the end, Hashem will redeem us. But there were, the, the, that path is fraught with another Holocaust, God forbid, whether it's here or in Israel. 
So I'd just like to wish uh, the Ilui Nishmas, Rav Benjamin Zev Ben Rav Meir um, uh, David Kahana HaKohen, that Ilui Nishmas, his soul should go ever higher and his Torah should go ever out among Klal Yisrael yeah. to, okay. to speak to, the, to the, the Jewish people and inform us of wh what we have to do and of what we have to know in order to, to make this great revolution possible in, Torah, in, in the Torah world and in Klal Yisrael and the Jewish people, the nation of Israel. I'd just like to say, Oda Vinu Chai, our Father in Heaven is still alive and that's why we're going to win. That no matter how bad it looks, we're going to win because this is what Hashem wants. Hashem wants to redeem the Jewish people. And Am Yisrael Chai, and they can't destroy the Jewish people no matter what they try and do. We're invincible because Hashem made a covenant with us, with Abram Avinu, etc. So Oda Avinu Chai and, and Am Yisrael Chai. But also, the way we get from here to the Mashiach is Od Kahana Chai, that the, yeah. the spirit of the Torah, of the Meir and of Benyamin, lives on, cannot be defeated. They both said, you can't kill an idea. You can kill a person, but if there's two kahanas that die, we've got to become a million kahanas. They can't kill the idea. They can only kill the person. And it's, the truth marches on. The Torah marches on. And the real Torah, the, the essence of the full impact of, of, of a Torah that's lifted up out of 2,000 years of exile, where all it was that we were left with in the shtetlach, and, the, and we were left with a, a synagogue religion, and a kitchen religion, and a bedroom religion, and all the, the, the private mitzvahs just of each individual Jew, that, that we, all those mitzvahs, of, all the holidays, and Shabbos, and everything, they were, they're obviously kashrus. You have to do them. They're, they're, they're important. But that's not all that Judaism is. There's public mitzvahs communal mitzvahs that all of the Klai Yisrael have to accomplish. We have to liberate the land of Eretz Yisrael. We have to build the base of Mikdash. We have to, we have agricultural laws, uh, judge, make court systems, make army, make uh, malchus, the kingdom, the kingship, the government. All these are important mitzvahs in the Torah that have been relegated to to the sidelines in a box left in the corner. And we say, well, it's a Shulchan Aruch, La Sid Lavo, Reb Meir said, it's a, it's a Shulchan Aruch for the future. Well, the future is now. We waited long enough, 1900 years, and it's time to open that box and put the Torah squarely on the table and say, this is in the Torah, this is in the Torah, this is in the Torah. Shabbos and Kashas, everything's in the Torah, obviously. But what's also in the Torah is throwing the Arabs out. What's also in the Torah is getting the, all the land that was Hashem liberated, annexed. Also in the Torah is, 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 is building the base of Mikdash. These are mitzvahs. These aren't political things. It's not politics. This is Torah Judaism. This is God's will. And he get, wouldn't have given us back here just well if he didn't want these mitzvahs to come back into, the, into vogue, into, into reality and be implemented. So everybody should pull away strength. They're going to learn. You're going to come. Maybe we can open up a shear. We may not be able to do it here. We'll try and do it somewhere else. And every week, every Thursday night, we're going to have this class again. Blin Eder Bezer Hashem, 9 to 11. You need to go Davin Marav. We'll, we'll take care of this. Okay. So I want to wish everybody uh, Shabbat Shalom and Benyamin Kahana Chai. Amen. Okay. It's good to meet you. Very good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you.